Hey guys, welcome to DVT Dance Video Tips with your boy Improv. Let's go. Look, I've been posting dance videos since 2012 on the internet, whether it's myself or it's other dancers. And after 10 years of posting dance content, I feel like it might be time to share some of the things I picked up along the way. And just a disclaimer, there is no right or wrong way to film a dance video. This is just stuff that I feel like I wanna talk about and share. So let's get right to it. The first topic in this series that I would like to talk about is camera angles. Now with this new TikTok age, it feels like dance videos are pretty much just shot from the straightforward angle like this. And where that is useful, I understand, but I think if you wanna be more creative and spice up your dance videos, you might wanna start thinking about your camera angles. In my last dance video that I shot, the video was over three minutes long. Now I know a lot of videos that are posted are under a minute, which makes perfect sense for a one angle shot, but to do anything over that, either the dancing has to be magnificent or you have to do other things to spice up your video. And the reason why I used five angles for that video was for two things in particular. One was audience retention. Switching between angles in a video helps keep the viewer engaged and it keeps their mind wondering what's gonna happen next. And two, it helped me creatively tell my story visually. In that video, I shot from a low angle, I shot from an above angle, I put the camera on the ground. I even shot straight ahead like this shot here. And each angle that I chose had an actual meaning for the dancing that was happening. So when the camera was down looking up, I really wanted to show strong emotion. When it was above me, I kind of wanted to show somewhat weakness because I was literally supposed to be crying in that shot. Because I didn't have an extra set of hands to help me film that video, all I had was my tripod, which is amazing. I'm gonna link that down below. And the floor, that was it. Also, you don't even have to shoot straight ahead all the time. You can move the camera over to the side and maybe shoot from a, like a 45 degree angle. I actually have a dance video where I shot not only across the street, I shot above like maybe like three, five, three to five stories and at a 45 degree angle kind of, and the video worked. And technically these are not necessarily angles, but I think you also wanna look into how tight or wide your shot is, meaning how close the camera is to the subject or basically how much of the subject is filling the camera. So like this shot, if I was doing some like, you know, like hand movements and facial expressions and the dancing isn't really like leg specific in that shot, then it would make more sense to be close up like this. But if I'm using my legs, in this moment, you wouldn't wanna see just this area. You would wanna see literally the whole body. I see quite often out there where dance videos are shot and the legs are being cut off when the legs are moving quite a bit. But with everything that I just said, it all depends on you and what you want to do with it. That's the part of being creative. All right, guys, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment down below on other things you want me to talk about. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I will see you in the next video.